I do think we have a danger. The, the expectations are that, you know, the only way to create value is a Steve Jobs type of moment. Whenever someone's come to me asking for the silver bullet, I say there's only a silver ray, <laughs> and you have to know where to point it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you might get lucky. Well, the other thing, too, that we often get is um, impatience. Mm-hmm. So, you know, sprinkle that design dust mm-hmm. and magic will happen. Mm-hmm. It's just the wrong way to think about the problem. I think uh, design is a mindset. It's a set of capabilities and skills. It does require an environment to flourish. It requires people to uh, work in a collaborative way that is different than historically. So just thinking that it's sprinkling a bunch of magic uh, design dust and you're quickly going to get to a, a new product, a new experience, is, is, is a bit naive. I talked a lot of the startup. Yes. And uh, I was talking to a, a CEO who's formerly a doctor. Yep. I, I love CEOs who come up with a weird path. Yep. He's a doc, medical professional doctor, real doctor. And, uh, but he's very curious about design. So he retained some design firm early on. He's very curious about how it all works out. So now he's about to release his product. And so everyone's telling him to like gamify yep. and social, whatever, this, that, whatever. And he asked me what I thought. I usually do not offer my opinion because I'm always concerned that it will cause the wrong effect. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, I had to offer my opinion, which was you, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. Yeah, you're right. And I think that if you think about design adding value, a lot of, uh, a lot of what people don't understand is that sometimes the best design consultants, people will tell you not to design it. 